So, hi everybody, it's Rika from Paperilitin blog here today. And I'm sorry if the volume is too high. Please say if it's too high because I'm I'm seeing that it's quite high. But here's something we're doing today. Just little ATSs, but in white and in black because we're using these little lovely thingies which are called Opal Magic paints by Finnevar and Prima and as you can see they are really, really pale looking like this but wait until we get to the dark part and then the magic happens and this is just for some drying time to show you actually the paints because the effect is also in the waxes but yeah let's get started ATCs for me are perfect little places for experiment I don't do art journaling that much because otherwise I'm thinking I would use my journal but I really really like to do ATC cards so they are the experimental things for me I'm using a 7 dot studio paper as the background because it's sturdy enough with all, all mediums. It won't warp that much and turn into mush. And I'm just cutting cards from the paper. They are two and a half by three and a half. That's the basic. ATC size, but of course you can use the similar technique for cards or journal, sorry, journal covers or what oh, canvases, whatever. I'm merely trying to show you the magic in the opal magic paints. So let's do a couple more. Let me see how many roses I have. Five. Oh, that's so dark. Well, I can paint it black. Oh. Now there's five. And then I'm just cutting the rest to layers for the existing cards. Maybe, Maybe a bit more. And as always, you can find all the materials in the event, so, oh, oh, sorry, in the Facebook or in my blog. And as I'm now, now guesting, I used to be a regular member, but now I'm guesting, so maybe I should actually thank everybody for coming. And more importantly, thank Karen for having me guest today. So thank you. Hi Minya and hi Julie. And then comes the layering part. It's just, as you can see, to bring some kind of interest to the background as well. I'm just using regular glue. And here's the little detail. There's one. Uh, stable in these, so I just stable the layers in those. But I thought it would be easier for me to just glue them this time. Just a couple of pieces here and there. If you have watched my videos or attended an artist live show before you know this stage. It's it's kind of my go-to because just layering paper pieces it's really actually relaxing as well and it's an easy technique to bring something to the background and it doesn't have to be that much just a couple of pieces of paper that's all we need. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm missing the paper piece because I'm watching the chat if there's any questions. So if, if there's any questions, just hit them and I'm trying to keep an eye to the chat. So here we go. Now we have five cards already. And then comes the embellishing part. So let's get these. I actually had a problem with the Ustream as well, but it was oh so silly me. Because I wasn't seeing the screen at all, at all and was actually going a bit hmm, anxious. And then I just saw that I needed to upload a new plugin and then everything just worked fine. Okay, now I need a palette knife. Of course, you could use brush, but this is the super heavy gel. So it's it's like Vaseline, as you can see. Because with normal gel you couldn't even do that. that that's like really heavy stuff. Because normally I use my finger to apply the gel, but this is so heavy that I find using a palette knife is actually easier. And you could use another medium, for example, glue here as well. But I chose this one, the super heavy gel just because we don't have that much drying time during the shows so with this gel everything stays put almost immediately because it's so sticky naturally the drying time is same that with all the other gel mediums so it's best to leave it like overnight And I'm using the flowers as the kind of raised. And for these two cards, I used a B and a W, like black and white. But with these ones, I'm just using some letters. These are from Prima as well. Maybe an S, it would be kind of cool looking wiggle wiggle thingy stay put what then maybe M ooh an X and then some lace of course I could use just white lace and made it black but for the black ones I chose actually a black lace but you could use any kind of lace um, with black as you can see I chose the darkest card for the black color I'm painting most of these black but if you're using like you can see this is pretty solid even though it's lace it's kind of the flower thing but it, if it would be something like this with the little holes then I would suggest first to paint the background with black gesso and then add the lace if if it's white and not black because otherwise you'll <laughs> be using 30 minutes or something trying to poke the gesso through these holes so learn it from me because I do it all the time I forget to paint the background and then I'm like angry with myself having to battle to get actually the gesso through so there we go. I'm thinking these are good now. 
then some more texture and for that I'm using yeah it's Rika here hello and ATCs so for the texture I'm using both pearls and art stones as I think these kind of circular things go well with Moikka! Ha! Hi! <laughs> circular things go well with any kind of craft. So as there is the gel in there, I'm just sprinkling, trying to get... Okay, that wanted to go there as well. Well, go ahead. Trying to get the largest pieces a bit closer and then the smaller ones a bit further. Now that needs a larger one there, but I'm thinking there's no. There might be not be the gel here. Come on, stay put. And then there. And now that I'm, I'm online, if you wish to see me actually live, not just through internet, and you happen to live in France or nearby, there's version scrap coming up this month a, a bit later from uh, its 20th to 22nd. And I'm there teaching two classes. So if you're in the neighborhood, you can come, or then you can just come and meet me in the Prima booth, because Prima will be there. And whenever I'm not keeping a workshop, I will be in the Prima booth. So if you're somewhere around there, please come and say hi. And then... Okay, just a moment. I'm noticed uh, Finland there. Yeah. As Minna, Min, Minja, her name is Minja, uh, is saying in the. It's not her real name, but I'm just saying the name as it shows in the chat, so she's saying that she has attended my classes in Finland because that's where I live. And I am so happy that it's springtime and we're getting the light back. It's been half a year without sunshine. No, okay, of course there's some sunshine, but there's just a few hours of daylight each day, and now it's way better. My kids don't ask every time we go to school anymore, like, Mommy, why are we going to school in the middle of the night? No, darling, it's day. But during summer times, we get so much light that the sun doesn't set at all. And it's really, really, really wonderful. What I'm now adding to the tank, the same gel I applied first, is the art stones. They're really light. So even though they are called stones, and you would so, um, what's the word? You would believe that this jar is really heavy because it's full of stones. They are so light. So you can use them in cards and in, in all kinds of projects because you don't have to worry about the weight. These are not, not that heavy. Heavy, that's the word. So now they need a teeny tiny bit of drying time. Of course, I could use the heat tool, but I can take this opportunity and show you 
the magic. Okay, now I'm thinking. Huh, no, your messages came true. <laughs> Caress. No. Hmm, good. Well, better late than never. And it's just my phone. Well, yeah, but while these dry for just a bit. Yeah, the ads. I'm sorry. There's the ads. You can't get them off. Oi! Another Finnish one. Hey, Gersi. I'm so happy to see Finnish people here. Hi! <laughs> so, yeah. Opal magic. Uh, it, the first one was the powders, the mica powders. Then came the acrylic paints and now the newest addition are the waxes. But the effect throughout all of those is the same. Only just, of course, mica powder is powder. You need some kind of other medium to attach it to your work whether it being uh, ink or water or gel or whatever. And these work like, well, uh, in a way like normal acrylic paints. So you can use them on metal or plastic and they will stick because of the acrylic bind binder. And then the waxes, of course, are wax. And I can't get this jar open. Well, let's use another one. Oh, come on. Cancel. And let's try another one. Okay, this one I could get open. What color then? So. It's my lovely assistant, also known as my husband. Maybe I oh, will now open each and every one because he is here helping me. And even he is having a trouble with one of those. I'm a messy crafter, so the paint goes into the, like, um, how do you say, grooves, or when you're applying the lid, these little thingies, and naturally, because it's acrylic paint when it dries, then, well, yeah, acrylic binder. But anyway, so here we have black and white surface. I'm needing to get a bit closer for this one. As you can see from the jar, this is kind of green the paint and when I apply it on top of the white one it's green but let me go over the black one you see it's the same paint but it's purple on top of the black one Okay, just a moment, I'll go through base in Finnish. Joo, ensin siis laitettiin paperit tänne, ihan vaan sinne tänne tuonne luomaan taustaa. Ja sitten tota, sen jälkeen kukat. Sitten mä nyt käytän nyt vaan tällaista niin kuin kirjainta elementtinä. Sitten siellä on vähän pitsiä. Ja sitten tämmöiset pyöreät jutut mun mielestä sopii melkein mihin tahansa työhön. Niin täällä on nyt helmiä ja sitten art stones, eli tämmöisiä ohuita, keveitä kiviä, mitkä kuuluu priiman valikoimiin myöskin. Ja nyt ne saa hetki aikaa kuivua. So, back to the paints. Can you see? I really, really, really like these. What else? Maybe the blue one? As you can see, it's blue here, and da -da -da, it's pink, blue and pink. 
So they are really surprising. And to me, these are great because if you love this kind of pearly effect, just a hint of color, most of all pearls, then you could use them on white. But if you want to have the bold colors, then you just turn your project into black one and apply the paints. <laughs> so the effect of the waxes is similar. So here's the wax. It's a clear, clear wax with the mica. So whenever you're applying it to the white surface, you'll get just a pearly shine. And on top of black one then the mica comes through and you can see the color oh, come on there you go okay I'm thinking these hopefully are dry enough for us to continue Maybe just a quick whiff with the heat. Oh, sorry for the noise. Congratulations, John. Wonderful news. Oh, that one's dry. I don't have to dry that one. Yeah. So then let's paint these three black. No, that should be white. And that's white, and these go black, yeah. So I'm using the white one first, just that after I paint the black gesso, the water is going to turn black, and if I then try to get the white gesso, it's going to be grayish. So first the white one. And as this is kind of pale color flower, I'm not applying the white gesso really heavy handedly. If it would be maybe bright red or something that wouldn't fit into the color palette, then I naturally would go over with, with a heavy hand. And as you can see, it's not totally dry yet. The art stones are moving. But luckily, gesso can be used as an adhesive as well, so I'll just have to try to get them stay put long enough to have a bit white gesso on top for the next stage. And with the white ones, I'm also going through the paper through, not through, like on top of the paper to kind of get those hard colors away so it's going to be romantic and sweet. I think there was a question about the paints. Yeah, there. Um, sorry, I can't show up. Oh. Sorry, just a few words in Finnish again. Just tällä hetkellä kun maalan en pysty näyttämään, mutta noin on siis Priiman Opal Magic, Opal Magic värit. Noin maalit ja sitten noin pikkusemmat purkit, jotka on tuossa oikealla nyt, niin ne on siis vahoja, jossa on se sama Opal Magic-efekti. Eli just tämmöinen kaksivärisyys, 
toisaalta helmiä se hehku vaan niin kuin vaaleilla pinnoilla ja sitten värit tulee tummilla pinnoilla näkyviin. Okay, now you can see anything I'm doing. Sorry. I'm so sorry, I got carried away. I'm just eagerly painting this. There we go. Naturally, if you would have the time to wait until the art stones are dried, they stay put and then it's e easier because then you don't have to worry and be careful. But, well, I'm usually a messy and quite fast of a crafter, so I'll just try to work with everything wet and most of the time that's not that big of a deal but if you're making a collage for example you really should wait cardstock i'm using seven dot studio paper because it really handles the mediums well you can get it almost soaking wet without it going in, into a mush so I really 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 like the quality of the paper in the seven dot studio pattern papers and cardstock these these or this is from the writer's block collection and I thought it would be fun because the pattern is like um, wood grain or wooden blank planks and the width of the blank is almost identical to width of an ATC so it's kind of fun uh, I'm sorry again you can't see anything not that there's really that much to see I mean just painting but still I think it's more interesting to watch that than just to watch the table sorry here we go so are you familiar with the products have you tried gel medium art stones gessos because if you would like to know something about those i can also tell you what i know you as we're using acrylic paints on top you could use something else than gesso also just like black or white paint because the acrylic paints we're using on top will stick anyway but if you for example wanted to have the pearly effect but a touch of color underneath for example like watercolor then a gesso on top is a really good idea because of the gel because the gel resist water based products such as water colors so you wouldn't get that nice of an effect without the gesso layer first where can i buy art and mini art stones from um uh, from internet no shops Preferal okay europe then mixed media place the shop is located in ireland it's finnabar's own shop but they ship everywhere and all finnabar mediums are available from there so it's mixed mixed media place everything like in one word and then dot com that's that's an European shop. I use that one all, all the time, even though I live in Finland and we do have lovely shops here as well. But 
as a part of Finn's team, I somehow kind of get used to using her own shop. Yeah, mixed mixed media plays has them. If not right now on stock, they are bound to come because, well, as I said, it's it's Finn's own shop and they do keep all her mediums in there. My pleasure. Hmm. I'm trying to watch the screen as well if there's any questions because sorry this is a bit maybe dull if you're watching the recording you can now just skip or I don't know YouTube doesn't have the kind of wind rewind effect does it otherwise you could just speed this process up so you wouldn't have to stare me <laughs> painting and painting if I would have been like a bit more wise a bit wiser I would have done a couple of cards beforehand but on the other hand I'm thinking it's kind of fun for you to see the actual whole process from the paper to the finished card and I'm trying to be really quick so you don't have to just stare me painting all the time and if you would use water-based mediums on top then painting while the gel is still wet isn't a good idea because if the gel and the gesso mix then some of the resist effect of the gel is mixed into the gesso so you might get different results on different places depending how much of the gel has gotten to the gesso how well are they mixed up so if you're using, for example, watercolors to color this one, then I would recommend for it to actually dry before you paint it, it with just so. Exactly, Klemmari Kellari. It's a Finnish, Finnish shop. I think they ship worldwide though. Hey, Anna. Yeah, if it's out of stock in mixed media place, they are bound to get refill soon-ish. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just got your message, Karen, that I'm going out of frame. Uh, silly phone. But here we go. Now they are painted and I'm just drying them a bit.
<laughs> the black ones seem really, really funny looking now that I watch the screen. It doesn't show the depth in them. It's just black blobs. But there is still something. Now you can see. Naturally, if I would do this with kind of better time, I would go also underneath the flower. Now you can see that there's something peeking. But as it's not that important for the demonstration, we're just using this. So I think that must be the triest one. I'm moving it aside to show you the waxes also. And I think I did that one first, so let's use waxes on those and the paint on these. And even though we are applying acrylic paint, I love to use watercolor brush or a soft brush to get that kind of a paint effect. And I also love to use a wet brush because that kind of lets the color to mix a bit better it's somehow like a bit watercolor looking so the paint color I'm applying now it's called rose gold just a few touches here and there and then on top of this one where it's really like this luscious gold color then let's try this one this is a green gold so on top of the white one it's just a hint of green and on top of black one there we go again, it's the cold gold one. Don't mind about the white spots, it's just a water. But when it evaporates, it go goes just golden. Then we have violet green. Let's add it here. That was the one I showed you on top of the tag. So it's purple, violet here, and green is here. Oh, and I have a dirty brush. Oh gosh. Here we go. Then here we have yellow blue. So a bit touch of yellow here and there and here it turns blue no, that one. blue here as well. I guess by now you can guess what my favorite color is because I'm using blue so heavily. I'm always drawn to blue um, kind of cool palettes, cool colors, blues, greens. And then the last one. I'm thinking I'm not adding it here because this is kind of warm color, so the blue won't go there. But I intentionally left this one without the purple, so I can add pink here. Maybe a touch of pink here as well.
and then naturally we need some splashes we'll just add those maybe move these a bit to safety so what color maybe the green one I'd love to have some kind of pinkish tone here as well. So I'm adding also the rose gold. Like so. Yeah, the paints change color depending on the background, the opal magic ones, because if you use a regular art alchemy, because there are also metallic paints, for example, they are the same depending whether it's white or black, it's always the same. But with opal magic paints, you get kind of two paints in one, depending which color surface you're using. So if you want to go for sweet, then you're using white surface. And if you want to get a bit bolder, then you're using black surface. Bye, Garen. So maybe I'll add the Opal Magic Waxes, these ones, and then we finish the cards with metal wax. So there's three types of waxes and I wanted to show the Opal Magic waxes during the show for you guys because the effect is similar. So if I'm applying the Opal Magic wax to the white one, you can see there's not that much color happening. That's just more of the shine. But if I'm adding it to the black surface, Just a moment, I need to... Because this is not like watercolor. You get the color. Same with this one. On top of white surface. Oh. Oh, huh. Let me just use my finger because there's something in the brush. You'll get just shy. It's kind of this pearly, more of a pearl effect coming. And if you're using it on top of black. As you can see, then there's the color coming through. These take a while to dry, so if you want to layer and play, you have some open time to actually get the colors mixed. But if you would like to have like a layer of color and on top then a layer of metallic then you need to wait for a while because otherwise they just mix these are really good if you want to um, show the texture so just go lightly with your finger and can you see it starts to show the texture of the lace and even in the background I'm trying to show you come on so the waxes are really easy for that 
even easier than dry brushing technique, which you can do with the acrylic. But I want to match that one a bit more to the series, so maybe I'll just add why is still purple there? Touch of the purple paint here as well. And then the splashes, of course, the splashes. Uh, fixative, you mean with the waxes? No. After they have drawn it, it takes some time. Uh, maybe a 15 minutes. After drying, they are permanent. You don't have to use fixative, but if you are just using opal magic um how do you say it? mica powders then you need some kind of fixative so here we have maybe something to here it's a little bit bland don't you think maybe i'll use the blue one here even though it has the pink rose but Maybe it's good here and there, and then maybe a touch of this color as well. A bit peachy, golden shine. Tomorrow, people are going to be wondering what I've been doing. Guess I'm going to shine. Here we go. Then I think these are the driest ones. Well, maybe I'll just use a heat tool real quickly. Of course, with the waxes, you need to be careful. Because well, the wax base, if you're using a heat tool, it will melt. And as for any acrylic, acrylic paints can start boiling. So again, a bit cautious. Just the last two details. So as you can see, just a moment, from this card, for example, I went around with the edges and some of the details with metallic wax. And this one is called light gold, white gold. So I'm just using my finger and lightly going through the card and even though this is a metallic color so it will look the same on top of white and black surfaces but because of the contrast because on top of white the golden is kind of high contrast it's darker looking on white than on top of black but these work like similar to uh, similarly on both surfaces so it's going to be gold on top of white and gold on top of black so here we go and then on this one If you want to cover a large area, then a rigid brush is easier. But if you just want to add a touch of gold here and there, go lightly 
then your finger is at, at least I think your finger is easier tool to use because you just can't touch the places you want without getting too much color if you don't just want just the edge you can go just the edge or then a bit further away from the corner I'm not sure why, but somehow this color combination makes me think about Persia. Is it how you say it? Like the Thousand and One Nights Tales. top of the flower and the pearls. Whoops. So there they are. And then I'm just adding a few rhinestones or crystals on top to finish them. Just moving these far further away there there that one there the smaller one there these are or have adhesive on them, but as these are ATCs, I'm not leaving anything to change. Chance, chance. Oh, well, sorry, <laughs> I can't speak. So I'm using glue to adhere them, so they will really stay put. Uh, sorry, I have a few words in Finnish again. Inka koulissa on eri pohja. Nämä nimittäin on ihan tosiaan vahapohjaiset. Inka koulissa käsittääkseni, mä en koska Inka kouli käyttänyt, on, on eri pohja. Eli tota, se on joku ke kemikaalityyppinen juttu. Ja jopa vesiliukonen kai jossain niin kuin alku ennen kuin, ennen kuin kuivuu. Ja Inka koulissa käsittääkseni on ainoastaan vain metallisia sävyjä, että siinä ei ole. Tässähän löytyy ihan hirveät määrät myös niin, niin kuin metalleja ja sitten yksi kiinnostavimpia on Antique Brilliance vahat. And same in English. I could ask if these are like Inca Golds, the waxes, and the binder or the base is totally different because Inca Gold for example, it doesn't smell so nice because these really smell nice. They don't give me a headache. I haven't used Inca Gold at all. I just uh, have opened an Inca Gold jar and then put it back, <laughs> closed it again because it was so hard and not, not so nice to smell. And but the difference also between these and Inca Gold because these have wax. It's actual wax. And then there's a lot of different colors. There's three different lines. There's metallics. And then there's the Opal Magic ones. And then there's something called Antique Brilliance, which is my favorite. <laughs> they are amazing and they are quite unique. If you want to learn more about those, then Finnobar has a ton of videos showing each uh, section, each of the three lines of waxes in her um, blog. Oh, sorry. So, here we have. They are ready. 
same colors on black and on white. Totally different look. So, do you have any more questions? I'm thinking I'm stopping the recording and saying thank you. And then if you have any questions, then just type because I can then answer watching the screen. But next week, Miranda is on. So, hope to see you then. And thank you for joining today. So, I'm just stopping recording. I'm not going anywhere. So, thank you. Bye.